quantums in precision measurements. It goes into what is a quantum, but that's kind of not what this is about. So a quantum, in the very simplest of concepts, is a sum of something. We can see the sum, right? We can see a drop of rainwater, but a drop of rainwater is a sum of molecules from the air. And those molecules we don't see. We might see. We might see a fog in the air, but that drop of water is now a quantum of raindrops. It's a sum of raindrops we can estimate. So we can have a good idea of what the size, the physical size of a raindrop is. And you've all experienced that out in the storm. You know, you get little fine rain or you get heavy rain with bigger drops or it turns into hail. So those actually at one level are quantums. Okay, the concept of quantums. So to define a quantum, you've got to say what you're measuring. Now, here's where the complexities, here's the reasons for quantums, for sums of little bits of time added up. In order for your computer, a computer, to compute, it has to have something to do. One of the things you give it to do is scan an information point, an I.O. point. I.O. point can be a discrete measurement instrument out there. Now that instrument out there is capable of measuring out into the gigahertz and terahertz in frequencies, in energies, out to many, many decimal places of precision. But that computer that's sampling that instrument out there can only communicate at one-tenth of the speed of that sampling device. So the sampling device, if it knows this, has to account for the time slices. So its data might be a rhyme and sum, might be a sum, might be a calculation, a statistic, I don't know if you noticed where it got complicated. So these time slices, very fast instrument, can slice out into microseconds, picoseconds, but the computer can only sample in milliseconds. It has one half the possible resolution of that instrument that it's talking to. So this is where that engineer or that science guy that's going to apply the information from the instrument into CGI that you see. Wow, what was this about? Time domain sampling. High precision. Massive amounts of data with multiple attributes, time, date, temperature, humidity, speed, energy, light. These are all, we are still slicing finer and finer, little pieces, eating the elephant one bite at a time. Have some coffee. Thanks for listening.